and I I shared to disable your share. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I was trying to share, but I didn't even know I'm sharing. Fantastic. You know what? This is brilliant because I can see some real live humans, real real faces. And by the way, what you're the reason why it's important that you get on camera is because when you're recruiting and you're building a business, yeah, it's very hard to build a business if people can't see your face. Okay, so you need to get used to doing it yourself. And then when you teach other people, look, here's a powerful saying that I learned. This is something from Jim Rohn. You are always teaching your people something. By whether you're whether by your actions or by your omissions. Okay, so if you're not, if you are, your people will follow what you do. Okay. And if you are going to come on camera, guess what? The people who are following you, your team, they'll also realize that it's actually important to come on camera as well. And if you don't come on camera, they'll think, actually, this is the way to do it. I can hide. Okay. Now, you're all handsome, beautiful people. Uh, and that's why I really want to see your faces because I'm sure most, I think almost all of you are as good looking as I am, uh, without a doubt. Okay. So, <laughs> so let, let's get you all on camera as, as many of you as we can. Okay, so first of all, what I want to do is that there's a number of things I want to talk about today, all surrounding this concept of storytelling. And it's a really, really powerful concept, this concept of storytelling. Okay, uh, I'm just going to put myself in speaker mode. There we go. Whoops. Uh, Ken, I think you're showing up for some reason in speaker mode when it should be me. Very strange. Sorry, Shukil, you just need to put yourself on a spotlight. Oh, right, from the view. Yeah, you just click on yourself and then you'll see um, show spotlight and then you can do that. Uh, if, you make, if you make me a co-host, I can try doing that. Okay, it says stop video, choose a spotlight for everyone, not for everybody. Yeah. yeah, spotlight for everyone is the option. Oh, great, brilliant, I'm here, fantastic. Okay, but I also want to see... Make Baba co-host as well. He's good at this. Oh, okay. Let's just do... Bear with us, gents, ladies and gents. One moment. Where's Baba? Ah, oh, there we are. Okay. Everyone, uh, Shukil is using Mac for the first time. I'll be clueless as well. I've never, I don't use Mac. <laughs> I don't use Macs. I've never used a Mac before. So bear with me, ladies and gents. Um, I, I, I don't, I've not used a Mac before, and it's like very different from a normal. And Mac. Ken, it's it's a privilege to use a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks very posh. It's nice and gold as well. It's, it's actually in a beautiful color. So, uh, ladies and gents, fantastic turnout. Absolutely loving it. Let's get let's get these turnouts even bigger and better. Now, storytelling. There's a saying: facts tell, stories sell. Okay, so what happens is people, what they do is they tell instead of sell, because what we've got to remember, we're still, although this is network marketing, we are still in the business of selling because it's a direct sales approach. It, we're, we're, I would imagine, you know, um, all MLM companies, network marketing companies have a sales operation and we are the sales operation. We're, in fact, we're everything. We're the marketing operation, we're the sales operation, we're the distribution operation. We do all of these things with the communications operation, with the international development operation. But most importantly, a business does not survive if it cannot sell. And stories is an incredibly powerful way to sell not just the product. And this is where people go wrong. People think the selling is, is, is off the product. Selling involves so many things, selling the vision, selling the plan, selling emotion, selling your energy, selling your team as well, because you're not just selling to new people. Part of the big part of the selling is actually to sell your existing team, to be active participants, to be active players, to be people who take part and people who uh, step up their game. So, and you're selling on yourself on leadership as well. So leadership is a really, really important component of, of, this, of this whole concept of selling as well. And here, everybody's a leader here. 
you know, it's just that we've got different levels of, there are some leaders who are just starting out the leadership journey and they've got maybe one or two people in the team, some people in the middle somewhere with dozens to hundreds. And then there's some people here who've got literally thousands of people in their teams all over the world. Okay. And, but here's the thing, everyone is, has been selling a story at, a, at certain, at different levels. Okay. Now, what I wanted to do was to tell you about why storytelling is really, really powerful. But before I do that, maybe we can get some responses from people who are here, okay, uh, to maybe get some contribution, because I love participation. I, and my, my training sessions are a little bit different from what most people are doing, because uh, I know with a lot of them, it's, you know, and it's important, there's a reason why they're done that way, but I do things a little bit different purely because I want participation. So put your hand up, either go to the bottom, yeah, you've got reactions at the bottom of your phone and you can press something like that to put your hand up. So if you see my hand came on your screen. So if I can just have some responses from people, from anybody, either put your hand up if you're on camera or, or show your hand. Why you think is story, why storytelling perhaps important? Carolina, Carolina. Let's unmute Carolina. Hello. How are you guys? Hi, I'm, I'm well. How are you? Carolina, what's your, what's your insight into why is storytelling critical or important? Yes, it's very important because people uh, need to know uh, from your own experience uh, how to do things, how to achieve things, and you are showing them how, how to do that. Brilliant. I love that. So you're sharing from your experiences. So what storytelling, what Carolina is, is it Carolina, yeah? Yes, Carolina. Carolina is saying, is storytelling allows you to share your experience. What storytelling, storytelling has got some really important parts to it. And what it storytelling does is it enables you to create connection with people. And guys, do write these things down if you can. We are recording this, but do write it down. Part of powerful learning is to write things down as well. Can we, unless we brought you on camera, can we please ask you to stay muted? Thanks, yeah? Okay. And what storytelling does is it allows you to create connection with people. It, it makes you relatable. Now, if people can't relate to you and connect with you, okay, because here's the thing. We've got some very successful people in this business who have literally made unbelievable amounts of money beyond the dreams of most people. And if that person is sitting next to a, an ordinary person who's got ordinary life, who works, you know, like all the hours that God can send, and he sat there in his fancy Rolex and his beautiful handmade suit and his fancy car and his beautiful house, you can't really connect with that person because the person who's still struggling will look at him and think the distance and the gap is too far. But why are those people who are very successful really good at attracting people to them? Because what they do is they share the story and they don't share the story about where they are today. They share the story about maybe how they got to where they are today. Maybe how they, they create identity, they create a connection because they share something in part of storytelling, there's some important components, which is your problem. They share the trials and the tribulations and the problem that you experienced. We've all had some problems. And, and then later on, what they do is they share the solution or the resolution. Because... And then what happens is, I, you know what? I, there was a time when I struggled. I was really, really struggling. I used to struggle to pay my bills. I used to have the letters from those debt collection agencies. And this is how things were for me. Back in the year 2000, when my business collapsed, 2008, yeah, I was making a lot of money. And then all of a sudden, the market crashed and the seven series BMW with double glazing had to go. And I literally had to buy a Citroen Saxo and I looked like a comical Mr. Bean in my tiny little car. 
And my children would not sit with me because they used to be embarrassed and ashamed. And they said, Dad, when can we have that seven series again? And they wouldn't come in. And when can we have a holiday? And but what I did, what happened was, Haydar Mustafa one day rang me and he approached me with an, with an amazing opportunity. At the time, I wasn't interested because I couldn't see beyond the end of my nose. I was wrapped up in my own problems because I was getting debt collection letters. My company was, had folded and I was getting debt collection letters and everything was a problem. I couldn't see good news, but he insisted that I really, really need to meet him and pay attention to what he's got to show me. And you know what? Ever since uh, that meeting with uh, Haider, it's been absolutely unbelievable. Everything has started to turn around. I'm still not out of the, the dark, but I have an amazing game plan now, and I have an amazing strategy. And the unbelievable thing is the, the support that I get, the, uh, the amazing team, people who are just like me and you, who are all on the same journey. And you know what? We all, we all want something better in life, don't we? Yeah, we all want something better in life. And I, you know, I, I just can't look back anymore now because here, what I found now is, an, uh, is a track to run on. I've actually got a, a, a ready-made strategy that has been made by some absolutely amazing people. People who are actually, people you can meet, not some stranger in a website that you never get to know. Unbelievable. And you know, from here on, I'm looking forward to some absolutely amazing things. The company's just gone from strength to strength. They've just added amazing, they're at the cutting edge of technology. They're getting involved in things that I never thought I'd be involved in, like NFTs, multiverse, cryptos, and Forex. All these things were like a sort of jargon to me. But the amazing thing is there's thousands of people who were just like me who knew, who knew nothing about these things. And, and all of a sudden, they are able to take advantage of all of this. Um, so that was uh, Im I think that was Imran no no was it somebody was just ringing I don't know if you could hear that come on the screen but the phone was dying there okay so what I'm doing is I'm, I, I'm it, it doesn't matter about what your backstory is or if a lot of people think they don't have a story this is the most important thing most people I speak to say but Shaquille I don't have a story because they think they have to have some tragic story or they have to have some phenomenal success like some of the big leaders have got. Okay, because we know some of the big leaders have earned some phenomenal money, but they travel all over the world. Okay, but here's the thing, your story has to be relatable to people. And if you've earned your first 50 pounds or your first 50 euros, that's powerful. How did you earn that? Or your first 100 euros or whatever that tiny amount is, because these things start, it takes lots of 50s to make hundreds and thousands, doesn't it? Okay, so it don't dismiss it that your story is small. Because what you've got to look at is, what exactly did you do? Did you break your back to earn that 100 pounds or that 50 euros or whatever it was or then $100? Okay, did you break your back? I don't think anybody broke their back. I think what most people did is they shared a story. Sometimes they shared it well, sometimes they, they shared it poorly. Okay, maybe they weren't so good at it. Okay. But the better you become at communicating with people and speaking with passion, speaking with passion, with pride, being able to be proud of your achievements. If you haven't had your achievements yet, be proud of your projected achievements. Be proud of what is to come be able to speak with energy and be able to speak with a smile about where you're heading to. Okay, so all of these things are really, really important. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just tell you some basic uh, breakdowns, okay, of the story component. So you have people, who are the people involved? Your story needs to be around who are the people involved? Is it the story about you or is it the story about, maybe it's about the person who introduced you, yeah? So very often, it's okay to share 
Because some people think I haven't got the story. Well, you know what you can do? You can share the story of the person who introduced you. I was introduced by Haider. Haider's got a phenomenal story. He was knocking on doors, working for a telecoms company, all weathers. And today he's got a, he, he's essentially retired. He doesn't need to really work anymore because his passive income has built up so much. But what he's done is he left a job, which was literally seven days a week, knocking on doors, whether it was sunshine and the heat, whether it was rain, whether it was snow. And he was always looking for an opportunity. This opportunity came to him by somebody he'd known for several years, somebody who was local, who introduced him. And at the time, he was not interested. But ever since he got involved, he, he remained open-minded and decided, OK, as long as it's not a pyramid company or a network marketing company, yeah, and Rehan said, no, 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 it's nothing, none of that. I just want to show you something. Once he showed him the strategy, the company's vision, where it's all heading, he was sold and he was bought. And ever since then, it's totally transformed his life. He's traveled all over the world. He's traveled to countries he's not seen before. He, he has a car that he would never have dreamt of before. And he's purchased a property as well, a home. Now, what I've done there is I've, I've told story with passion i've told i've not given facts i've not given numbers or anything like that because those things are the detail like that facts are okay for giving information but the and and that will facts will only tell but it's the story that does the selling okay so let's so example we need people who are the people involved is it yourself is it other people involved in the story what is the place Okay, what is the setting? So what we do is we uh, set the, the setting, we set the time and the place. So I talk, when if you look back to my story, I talked about in 2008 when the market crashed, when I was a financial advisor. Okay, I also went into my problem. What was the problem? What happened? My income collapsed because the markets collapsed. So but that was a big story for me. My mar the market had collapsed. I was doing very, very well back in 2008. And I, everything was really comfortable. Money was very easily made. And then the market collapsed in 2008. And it was a shock to the, to the whole world. And anybody who was working in finance, in banking, like myself, in financial services, uh, and where your income was reliant on the, ability, on the money markets, and mine was, 100%. It meant it impacted my income. My income dropped by 80%. Yeah. Now, dropping your income by 80% is not sustainable for anybody. Okay. So, what I've done there, I'm, I'm creating the setting. I've talked about the problem. Okay. And that's now I'm talking about why am I looking for an opportunity? So, I needed an opportunity. I needed to do something. I needed something to happen that could enable me to start generating income. Or it could be that you haven't had that dramatic income crash. It could be that you're in a nine to five job or you're in a business that gives you an ordinary level of earnings, but you want something different. So it could be that, I'll give you an example. You know, I'm a, I'm a school teacher. School teachers don't really get rich. You know, we get lots of holidays, but you know, the salary is fixed and there's never any big pay rises. And there's only ever one headmaster in a school. You can't have 10 headmasters on a six-figure salary. So there's a big jump to try and make decent money. And uh, it was difficult. And I wanted to supplement my earnings. I wanted something that I could do to supplement my income. So I started this business part-time, really in a part-time way. Just a couple of maybe my spare hours that I had in a day or two. And what I started to notice was, it was starting to generate results for me. I was starting to, it was starting to create an impact for me. Okay. And I decided that I, I'm going to, um, I'm, I'm going to um, invest my time further in this purely because of the results that it was getting, the connections that I'm making, the friends that I'm making, the opportunities for travel that I'm getting. Unbelievable. You know, I'm going to Turkey at the end of this, uh, at the, in the middle of this month, next month, I'm going to be in Turkey. It's unbelievable. And I'll tell you what, I wouldn't miss it for the world 
because I'm going to be there with at least 1,000 other people from maybe 200 different countries around the world. Just that opportunity alone of mixing with like-minded people, people all on the same journey, all being led by fantastic leadership is, um, is, a, is an opportunity that I, I just can't put a price on that. So I'm so incredibly excited that to be there. Okay, so what I'm doing is there, uh, I'm creating the why, I'm talking about why I'm looking for an opportunity. What was it? I wasn't, you know, I was struggling to pay the bills. I was never any spare money at the end of the month. You know, I wanted to upgrade my car. I wanted to move house. Okay, so it's not about the money. People don't get excited about the money. People get excited about the, what the money can do. Yeah, what the opportunities can do. Okay, it's not the money itself. Because when you talk about money itself, okay, people are often put off by that unless they're trained. See, with a lot of us, we're already trained about building the focus on counting the money. It is important, by the way. I'm not saying never talk about money. It's important, but it's the right setting. It's the right scenario. Okay, it's the right people. But somebody who's new to this, they may not be educated the way you are yet. They may not be so uh, conscientious of the concept of, of money because we're all brought up to think money is evil. Okay. Now, so what you've done is you've set the scene, you've now created, you've talked about the problem and you've talked about why you're looking for the opportunity. Then the next part of your story is to talk about the solution, how you found your business opportunity perhaps, okay, and why you joined. What is it? How did you find this opportunity? So I talked earlier on about, you know, Heather called me and said, you have to have a look at this. And to be honest, I avoided him for a long time. <laughs> okay. And I would, and he's a good friend. I've known him many years, but when I, I knew he was going to talk to me about network marketing and I'm already busy doing other things. Okay. Uh, but do I need more money? Yeah, of course I do. You know, I got hammered with my business some years back. I had a business partner who, who was a fraudster. I lost hundreds of thousands of pounds. He knew this, you know, but maybe I wasn't ready to admit it. Okay. But, but the thing was, he was persistent. Okay. But in a professional way, he didn't hound me to death. He would occasionally give me a call or send me an invite. Okay. And then when the launch of the office happened in Birmingham, he said, Shaquille, you cannot, you cannot run away from me anymore. You need to come. You need to be here in Birmingham. This is big. And that's when I thought, you know what, that's fantastic. Okay, so um, it's about why you, how you found the business opportunity and why you joined. So what is the story? Why did you join? This is, people are interested to know why you joined. Yeah, how often have you had like, somebody say to you, okay, well, why did you join? Or what have you got out of it? Or how much have you earned? Okay, now different people at different levels have earned different money. The money that you've earned is irrelevant for now. Okay. For me, it's about for those people who are still at the beginning of this, you know, you, and you can't, you don't have an income story to share about yet. It's that doesn't matter. Don't worry. Do not worry about that. Yeah. You can talk to, you can explain that. You know, I'm just in the beginning of it, but I'm, I've got amazing guidance, amazing leadership. It's an amazing opportunity. And I'd love you to come along with me and have a look at what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. So what you have to do is you have to speak with strong, decisive language. If you say, uh, well, I, I hope to, I wish to, or I think I'm going to do well with this, you've blown it. Yeah. I am going to. I will. I'm already planning. I'm already doing. Yeah. This is going to happen. Yeah. This is the language that you need to use. Okay, so it's decisive long language, it's strong language, it's the language of leadership, it's the language that encourages this house is filled with money. Yeah, uh, Asif, can we mute yourself? Can we mute Asif, please? Yeah, and there's a few who are uh mute. I'm just going to mute all, and yeah. you just need to unmute yourself, so they're not allowed to unmute themselves. Uh, now you can unmute you, unmute yourself. Thank you. Okay, um, but it still didn't mute everybody. Okay, so not to worry. So you need to be using language that inspires action, a language that actually makes people want to take part in what you're doing. 
Okay. Because if you're just saying, well, I found a bit of an opportunity and uh, I think it's okay. Um, and it's quite exciting. And um, I'm really excited about it. Nobody's going to believe you. <laughs> okay. Because it sounds nonsense. Yeah. It, it's it, you, You've got to jet. And by the way, I'm not saying be something that you're not. Be you being excited. Yeah. How often you say, but that's not me. I no no no. It's you. Be you. Be you being excited. Yeah. We can all be excited. Is there? Has there been a time of your life that you couldn't hold back that you were so excited you had to tell everybody? Yeah. There was something. You had a child, or uh, you've had a birthday, or you've just had an achievement, or you've just got some results for an exam, or you've just graduated, or you just got a new job. Yeah. What will happen? You get on the phone to somebody, don't you? you tell somebody. Yeah. And the person on the other end of the phone, what are they doing? They're smiling. You can't see them, but you know they're smiling because you can feel it in the voice. Okay. So your voice has to come across with commitment, with conviction as well. But what happens is people are, are nervous of being told no. This is a, one of the reasons why people don't actually speak with energy and enthusiasm and commitment. They're afraid of being blown out. Okay, and being told, no, I'm not interested. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter. No's are actually good for you. Okay, getting people saying no is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. Because first of all, you need to learn to be resilient. Yeah, you need to be able to learn to deal with rejection. Okay, and when you can learn to deal with rejection, it becomes easy. And then you start understanding that the more rejections I get, the closer I get to the yes. It's not complicated, guys. It's very, very simple. Okay. So you can then talk about what results you've seen. Okay. Or what's happened for you? What are you planning to do? So like for me, you know, I got involved in this business. And look, here I am today. I've only been here since, guys, I've been involved since October. It's what, five months away, six months ago. I'm already running webinars and seminars. Unbelievable. I didn't think with a company with 170,000 people in two years, you know, that's been around in 200 countries around the world, literally five or six months into it, I'm actually running training sessions. Unbelievable. I, it's done so much for me. It's absolutely phenomenal. The experience is amazing. And the, uh, the confidence that I've got as a result of doing all this is amazing. The opportunities that it's created is absolutely uh, unbelievable. You know, so that's just one angle of my it, For you, it could be whatever it's done for you. It helped you maybe pay for a holiday. Yeah, it may be that it helped you purchase a car. You know, maybe it helped you uh, pay one of your utility bills. You know, it's created an extra whatever, 50, 100, 200 euros a month or whatever it's done for you for some people. For some people, it's thousands, okay? Whatever it is for you, do not let, do not dismiss it, okay? Because the, every penny makes a difference. Everything counts. And here's the thing. If you're talking to people who are ordinary people necessarily, they're not necessarily high, high rolling business people, they can identify with that. Somebody who's made an extra 500, 1,000 pounds a month or whatever it is, okay, or has the potential for doing that. That's a significant amount of money for the overwhelming majority of the population of the world. If, the, if you can help somebody just put an extra 50 pounds or 100 pounds, 100 euros a week into their pocket or even on a month, that will cover something. So do not be dismissive that something is a small amount. Small amounts start accumulating and start becoming bigger amounts. Okay. So what's exciting? What we're gonna what we do, what we so we're talking about what results you've seen and what you're planning to do. And more important than the results, if the results that you've got are nothing to talk about yet, yeah. By the way, yet I say, yeah, then what you can do is talk about what you are planning, what is going to happen for you. So, first of all, I'm going to be in Turkey. Yeah. I'm going to be doing everything possible. I'm pulling all the stops out to do whatever I can make happen to be in Turkey. I'm going to be there without a, start, without a doubt because I'm going to learn so much in Turkey. Yeah. And I'd love you to come along with me as well because we're going to meet the top people in the company and the best people to learn from. Uh, Ken, other people, would you agree? Yeah, the, the people who are, who are already the big players in the business because, and here's the amazing thing, 
uh, they're so accessible. They're so accessible. They, they, they literally talk to anybody. It's unlike anything I've seen before. I've been in the corporate world and you know, people at the top, they're very snobbish. Their nose is stuck up. They don't mix with people at the bottom. They look down on people. This is totally the, a whole different ball game. The CEO literally is like, lives like three miles away from here, where I am right now. And I can't believe it. They're so accessible. And what I'm going to be planning is I'm going to be planning a leadership role in this business. I'm going to build a team. I'm going to build, I've already decided which countries I'm going to be targeting because I can target any country, literally almost 200 countries in the world. Take your pick. Okay. And I've got some connections in XYZ country. I've got connections in Venezuela. I've got connections in El Salvador. I've got some connections in Pakistan. I've got connections in Germany. And uh, I'm going to be bringing those people on board. So I'm already, what I'm doing in the mind of the person that I'm, is listening to me, I'm putting my story together and they're seeing that, wait there, yeah, I know people internationally too. How do I know people? I know through people through so, social media. I've got friends through Facebook because we now have an international, we have international connections now. We know people all over the world. We don't even need to... Uh, have met them to be called friends. How many people have got friends on social media who you actually call as friends because you even speak to them quite regularly or, or message them quite regularly? It's very common now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I definitely have, okay? And it just means that the world has opened up to you. So if the world has opened up to you, guess what? Your story can go wider as well. You don't have to limit your story to the people who you personally know your story can be shared with people over video calls like this okay this is why we do these okay so you what you got to do is talk about what has excited you uh, and what impacts you the most so just going to give you the four components again the setting the time and the place was number one yeah the pro number two was the problem and why you're looking for an opportunity which includes why the problem is the reason why you're looking for an opportunity, okay? And maybe talk about what happened about why I ended up needing an opportunity. So earlier on with my story earlier, I talked about how my business collapsed. I had no money coming in. So I needed to do something. I needed to take action, okay? And the timing was just perfect. The timing is perfect now, by the way. Part of your story is the timing is perfect because what? We have Turkey coming up. To get people to take action, you need to create some urgency. Okay. There is an incredible opportunity. And because there will be people, I promise you, there'll be people in Turkey who have not yet joined this business. Think about this. Turkey is two weeks away. There will be people in Turkey at the event, at the launch, who are not yet members of the business. And I'll tell you why they'll be there, because somebody like you spoke with passion and energy and excitement about that and urgency, sense of urgency. Okay, now, if somebody's new to the business and we're going to be in Turkey in two weeks' time, there's a serious sense of urgency taking place because they may have to rearrange their plans. They may have to book holiday from work. They may have to put the money together to get the airline tickets to book for the ticket for the event okay they may have to make arrangements with family members about being away make arrangements for their children if they've got children to be looked after unless they're taking the children with them okay so you're creating that sense of urgency that this is an unmissable event this is the event of the this is the defining moment for this company it's the launch of this new business and i need you to be there i'm going to be there myself Okay, so it's about no, that nothing gets in the way of this. And it's about making that decision and letting that urgency come out in, in, in the way that you speak to people. Okay, and so what you're doing is you're creating a sense of urgency and you are speaking about what is exciting you, is exciting you. And you're making it clear about what's exciting you as well and and people will buy into your passion people won't necessarily but look 
there's some people we've already here between us we know there's some big players and we know that because we speak with each other we're all friends but when you're speaking to somebody new somebody earning hundreds of thousands is unobtainable for them they think you're actually on a different planet they might even think you're lying but they'll probably think that you're a bit not a bit of a nutcase okay they think oh you've been brainwashed it's a cult okay it happens so there's no we don't even necessarily need to go there at this stage okay it's about just the next step what is the next step create the excitement and right now the next step is turkey is the launch of this phenomenal new opportunity that's been put together by some global leaders who are incredibly experienced in the business world and they have put together the most unbelievable opportunity for people like you and me who are ordinary people okay so I think there's a lot of information there. What I want to do is I'm just going to put you all into breakout rooms. Okay. I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. And these are little rooms whereby what will happen is you'll go into groups of about maybe five or six. Okay. And maybe what I'd like, love you to do is share the story with each other. Let's, we're going to do that for about maybe seven, eight minutes. Then we're going to come back out and we're, we're going to hear from some of you, from your, your story. Okay, who's up for that? Yeah. So we're going to have some people who are not so shy. And if you're shy, even more important that we get, get you on board on this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to go into the breakout rooms, guys. What, when the breakout room ends, you'll see a message come up. Don't exit yourself. Let it bring you back in because it'll come up uh, with 60 seconds to go. And if you press OK, it means that you've already left too early. Let, let it automatically kick you out. Yeah. So I'm just going to put you into breakout rooms. Have some practice, okay? Have some practice about sharing these stories, okay? Let me just get, in fact, before I do that, I'm just gonna tell you a few more things about uh, storytelling. There's four Ps of storytelling, okay? You've got partnerships, okay? Partnerships is about who's involved. It's an amazing company, these amazing people, okay? People who have already been there. Who am I partnered with? Because we're all partners in this business. Okay, you've got then about the products, the service, the results. Okay, so that's the product, service, results all comes under one heading. Okay, then you've got another component of it is about the program that includes the pay as well. How, it, how does this thing work? Yeah, about the support. What's important is the support, not so much on the money, but how does it work? and the support that we get. The support we get is world-class. There isn't a network marketing business, in much from what I've seen, and I've been around a while, that has the depth and the quality of the support and the availability of the leaders that you have. You've got unprecedented access to incredibly successful people in this business. And I, I don't see that. Yes, there are other businesses out there, but I, know, I have not seen the depth and the level of the access that happens in this business. Okay. Then there is positioning. Positioning also, and part of positioning is the timing. And we've already touched on the timing. Okay. Timing is critical. When's the best time to get into a business? When it's 100 years old or when it's about to launch? When it's about to launch okay so why would you deny your best friends your relatives okay an opportunity because i get pitched all the time and you all do as well we get pitched by all the big companies out there that have been around 30 40 50 60 70 years okay guess what those businesses are established their leadership and structure is already in place the, for the for new people coming into those opportunities What's the chance of them becoming a president level person in those big companies? I'd say very, very slim, and the facts prove it. What's the opportunity for something that starts off new, where everybody starts at the same position, and it's a ground floor opportunity, and it's starting next month because it hasn't launched yet? Yeah. So, what does that make it? It's an open field, guys. Open field. Who wants an open field, grassroots opportunity? Okay, that's what I'm talking about to people. Okay, it's about having that level playing field. 
And it's something that's new. It's something that's exciting. It's something that is future-proofed. It's something that it doesn't matter what happens in the rest of the economy. This is all based on fintech, financial technology. Yeah, this is a tech-based business. But the future is in technology, whether we like it or not. This is where we're going. This is where everything's heading, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to break you into your breakout rooms. Yeah, and then let's let's uh, do some practice on putting a story together. Maybe pick one person, and then the rest of you help formulate that story based on what I've told you. Okay, and then we're going to hear hear some stories come out from people. Yeah, so I'm just going to right uh, assign automatically. There you go. You're going to go.